Hello, my friends. Just recently, um, we went to the Pleasanton Expo in um, near Sa uh, San Francisco, California. And the week before, I was in Edmonton, Canada for Sizzix. And then that weekend, I was in um, Pleasanton, California. And then literally, actually, um, the way this is taping is tomorrow I leave for Boston for Sizzix. So in the month of March, I'm literally gone 10 days, which is way more than normal for me. So um, usually I don't travel that much. And actually, in the month of April, I literally am home the entire day, every day, except the 30th. So I, I'm usually not gone that much. So I had my trip to Edmonton, came home. I was home two days, and then we left for Pleasanton. And Ken luckily was with me for Pleasanton. So we get into, um, you know, when Ken is with me, I kind of let him take over. He worries about the rental car and getting us to the airport and all that kind of stuff. I don't have to think about it, which is really nice because um, that helps. And so um, he says, okay, we can leave the house at, I think he said um, 9.15 and we'll make it in time to catch the plane. Great. We're driving to the airport and he gets in the fast lane when it's time to get off to go to the airport. I said, honey, the airport's over there. And he goes, oh, no, no, we're not going to the Orange County airport. We're going to LAX, which is like another 45 minutes away. Oh, okay. What time does the plane take off? Oh, I don't know. It's like around 11 or something. I don't know. Okay, fine. Not my problem. No, I'm not, not going to worry about it. We're driving, we're driving. Okay, we get there. We get into the parking lot. We've got, we, Kenny um, doesn't like to spend money. So we don't park right where I usually park when I'm by myself, where it's safer, where you just like literally walk there to the car when it's safe. Uh, we park off site where it's a lot cheaper and then you get a shuttle to take you to the airport. So we get on the, um, on the shuttle. He looks at our boarding passes and he looks at his watch and he says, oh, gee. We board in eight minutes. Now, if you've ever been to LAX, you know, first of all, the airport is huge. It's a huge airport. And we're on the shuttle driving around the parking lot, stopping at every stop, even where, when there are no cars. We're going to every stop. Finally, we leave the lot to drive to the airport. And Ken and I are going, hmm, okay. And I just said, oh, so I started praying. I said, oh Lord, please get us to that airport because I do not want to miss my flight because we have to set up our booth and we have all this stuff to do. And I said, well, Kenny, how many flights do they have to San Francisco on our airline? He goes, I'm not sure. And I said, like, okay. So, so I said, okay, first person that gets to security and gets through security runs to the airport, airport. I mean, to the, to the, um, to the gate. I said, nobody stops. So he's like, okay. So I literally get in there. Okay. Do my little scan. They go, I get through, I slip my tennis shoes on, but I don't put them on. I just put my toes in and I kind of like jumped in front of this other guy. I'm like, I'm sorry. My, my plane's boarding right now. And he goes, Oh, go, go, go. So I grab myself and I start like running with my shoes, not even on Kenny's still in security. I, you didn't get like pulled or anything did you he just he was behind me so I'm like I'm going so he had more stuff to carry so I'm just like running and I'm running 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 to the gate and as I'm running to the gate they're paging us Ken and Stephanie Bernard please report to the gate immediately your plane is about to take off <laughs> running to the airport finally I get to the gate I'm like oh ah! and I hand him my boarding pass I get on the plane and then I turn around and Ken's right behind me so he gets on the plane so we finally sit down on the airplane and they like shut the door and we take off <sighs> now I'm the type of person that when I travel by myself, I like to get to the airport an hour and a half before the plane takes off. I like to get a little snack. I like to make sure I have plenty of time to get through security because I tell you, I get pulled, I, I'm red flagged. I get pulled over every single time in security. <laughs> oh, and especially when my trip from Edmonton, I got pulled over because the um, event coordinator gave us these cute little metal cups and I don't even know where my metal cup is. I gotta find it, but a cute little metal cup and they couldn't tell what it was when I went through security because I never check my luggage. I only carry on what I can carry on. And so they pulled it out and so they emptied it out. There was chocolates inside. I was bringing them home to the kids and they swabbed it and it came back as bomb chemicals. Are you kidding me? Guess what they did to me there. So then I have to, and, and I, don't get me wrong. TSA is awesome. I want them to search me. If I have bomb chemicals on my stuff, search me. I want them to search every single person that has bomb chemicals. 
So, you know, I had to do this thing and then they, you know, woo, 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 everywhere. And, and I had, they filled out all these forms. They had all these forms they had to fill out. And this is, I'm in Canada. I'm like thinking I'm never going to go home. They're going to deport me or something. And so like all these forms and I had to give them all my information and, and oh gosh, luckily I got through with the cup, but I don't even know where that cup is now. I have to find it because I have to show it to you, but it was a cute cup, but oh, oh. okay. So Pleasanton, we're in Pleasanton now. And keep in mind, I was in Edmonton the week before, or a couple days before. I'm in Pleasanton. We have breakfast the next morning, whatever. We're going to get ready to go to the expo. And Ken goes upstairs to um, get the stuff out of the room so we can go. But I have to go upstairs too. But I was waiting for the breakfast check to sign it off. So whatever. So he goes. And so I finish breakfast. I go. I get into the elevator. I'm by myself, luckily. Get into the elevator. The door shut. And I'm looking at the numbers to push what floor I'm on. I have no idea what floor I'm on. I have no idea what room number I'm on. I have no idea. And I'm thinking, well, last week I was in, I think 215, but what room, and I, the guy told me yesterday, but I'm like, what room am I in this time? And I'm looking at it. There's only like six to pick from. And I'm going, I think it's four. But I'm not sure. Well, I clicked for, luckily I was right. It was 415. But the week before, I think it was like 218 or something. I don't know, but it was a little too close. So for now on, I'm going to, I've learned a lesson. Like when I'm traveling, I have my little iPhone. And like when I park, I take a picture of where I park my car. So then I, because that way, I, I can't remember. So that way I can just go, oh, I'm in E12. So for now on, I've learned I'm going to take a picture of my room number. So I know exactly what my room number is. I mean, it's just crazy, but you know, that way I don't have to think about it and put it in the brain and try to remember it. So a little travel tip there for you. Leave the air, leave for the airport earlier than you think you're going to need to and take a picture of where you parked and take a picture of your room number just in case. And, um, don't take metal cups with bomb chemicals on them because you don't want to get pulled over by security. Okay. Just my little travel tips for me to you. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.